Yeah. Hi. Hi. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm doing wonderful. I'm so excited to be here. Me too. Thank you so much for being here. Let's see. Do we have? I can't really see the chats. Uh, oh, okay. Um. Where'd you go? Where'd you go? And, you know, and I turned it off. <laughs> I was so confused. I was like, do I need to invite you again? Where did you that go? does not mean, like, get out of where the chats could possibly be, Scott Patrick. Like, so oh, I'm, just, I'm just not going to touch anything. That's okay. Not. <laughs> I'm, thank, you for, thank you for coming to my channel. I hope you stay longer. Yes, um, I will. Thank you. <laughs> I promise. We have a couple people here. Some people have their coffee, their iced coffee. Hannah has their iced coffee in honor because I always start off my videos with coffee. We have some wine. Wonderful. Um, I went a bit boring and I got myself just some water. Same it's here. a bit late here in Montreal. Hey, Amanda. So I'm going to stick with my water for now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I was supposed to go out. My birthday was two weeks ago. I was going to go to birthday dinner with a friend that we couldn't get together on my birthday and I texted her and I was like, can we do a late lunch tomorrow? Like it's kind of nasty weather outside and it's been a long day and I see my pajamas in my quick picture <laughs> and a mask and crawling up and watching a movie tonight. So. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Happy belated birthday. Thank you. Thank you very much. So we're in Canada. Or well, actually, well, we've been in Canada, but now we ship to Canada. Yeah. How that's wonderful so is that? Funny. I feel like I've been messaging you for <laughs> several months being like, hey. Is it happening? You said this is a possibility. Were you just lying to me? Like, what's the case? Um, but yeah, we are shipping to Canada now from um, our website, shantakai.com. Um, and for those of you who uh, live in Canada, we have, if you go to our website, there up in the top right hand corner, there's a little uh, menu that you can click and you can do uh, US dollars, Canadian dollars. You can also use, go into English or French as well. So, yeah. En français. En français. Yes. S'il vous plaît. <laughs> um, so, we were thinking of talking about our current Chantecaille obsessions. Do you guys all know Scott? Do you want to introduce yourself a little bit? Yeah. No. So I'm Scott Patrick. I am, I've had many hats with Chantecaille. I've been with the brand for eight years, actually. Um, and uh, it's been an amazing journey. And it's a brand that, um, and company that I love. And I love working with the family and for the family. And I love working alongside all of my colleagues and stuff. We're truly like a family. Um, and it's just, it's been a wonderful journey. And I started off, I live in Dallas, uh, hence the Southern accent. Uh, I'm not from here. I'm actually even more Southern than Texas, uh, but I'm not gonna say where I'm from. No, I'm just kidding. I'm from Birmingham, Alabama. And um, I've been with Chantecaille for eight years. And I started off as the coordinator just for Texas. And then I became the account executive for the Central South Southwest which went from Las Vegas to Birmingham and up to Denver. So it was a huge swath of, uh, of a territory. And then um, I was in the training department for the past couple of years. And so that's really always been my passion. And I love working with customers and I love teaching people about the brand and uh, helping them find the, thank you, Gloria, um, helping them find the products that are best suited to meet the needs that their skin has and what they want their skin to look like. And so I've loved doing that. And then since the new year, I'm actually in a newer role. I'm actually part of uh, the New York office, but working remotely, of course. Um, and I deal with what's called web promotions and web education. So basically I'm still a little bit of trainer and I work directly with our retail partners, websites, uh, making sure they have all the information um, about a new launch or a new product, either digital assets or copy, things like that. And then I get to work with their online specialists. So 
Hi, Gigi. <laughs> That's amazing. That's like, I don't know, such a great evolution inside the brand. Yeah, it's been and, a great ride. Yeah. I mean, especially with Haunted Guy, it's such a fantastic brand. Like for me, the more I try from samples, like like the more trouble I get into because the more I like the products. Yeah. I, I personally, I don't, I, I have it very lucky. I'm, I'm a very lucky person because I, I kind of get the plethora of things to try. And I definitely have been able to kind of through the years, like I was, I was using this and then, oh, let me play with this. And, oh, I love this even more. Let me move on to that. And then sometimes I go back to things and then sometimes I change to something completely different. It's, we make some amazing products and I've been, personally been in the industry for, um, oh Lord, 23, 24 years. Um, and you and I've talked about this. Uh, we both worked for Chanel for many years and uh, off and on many times. And I've worked for Trish McAvoy. I worked for Bobby Brown, uh, but I, I truly feel I'm at home and I, I just love everything about the brand. I love, um, the products I love that we are philanthropic, which is very near and dear to my heart. But um, it's it's just great. It's good stuff. Yeah, I mean, I think so. Too. I don't even work for Shanti Guy, but I think it's a great brand. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Once we are here this evening. Yeah, exactly. Right. Um, so on my channel a few months ago, I guess I started this series where I talked about a specific brand and then current obsessions from that brand. And so that's what we're going to do tonight. And we're gonna have a mix of, I think, makeup and skincare and just, yeah. So should we just dive right in? Just, just go for it. Okay. So the first item I have here is something that I tried as a sample and then I fell in love with. It's the Stress Repair Concentrate Plus. Sorry if there's like some glare. So technically, like I thought it was just an eye cream, but you've educated me that I can use it for other uh, areas as well. So it's an eye cream, let's just say. It's like the same creamy texture, that's way too much. But I swear that I saw immediate results as far as like brightness goes and just making my under eye bouncy and just sort of like filling in any little like crow's feet or fine lines. And it's just really fantastic. And you told me I can use it in like little spot areas. So I'm using it here. Is this like marionette lines? Like mm -hmm. these like smile lines. I smile all the time. And so I'm just putting it a little bit here every night. And it's helping that like bouncy, juicy skin texture. And this is my current obsession. I have a couple of these. I have backups. And I just think it's really great. It is. It is truly. It just got an update like this past year. Sorry, my glasses. I think my yeah. ears are crooked. Oh, your ears. I look at the camera and I'm like, are my glasses on crooked? I think that's better. Um, it just got an update. Oh, well, I'm trying to think, you know, COVID has totally just destroyed any concept of time that I think any of us has. I want to yeah. say it was the end of 2019 stress repair got an update. It became stress repair concentrate plus. Yeah. And like you said, nowhere in the name does it say for the eyes. So anywhere you want to repair some stress, where it could be the nasogenial folds, it could be the, the marionette lines, it could be crow's feet, it could even be the 11s between your brows if you have those. Even like you can see me, I'm starting to get the little dense, I should, well, I shouldn't say dense, the little fine lines, those are not fine. Even it's great as a lip contour cream because it's packed full of all these peptides that Sylvie was so smart and gobbling up um, and getting a hold of these peptides that really make a huge difference in your skin. So it's always had a, hi, Jennifer. Hi, my friend. Um, miss you. It's good to see your face. Um, it's always had the anti-wrinkle hexapeptide, which is our Botox, is our needle-free version of Botox. So it's in there. It was in the original formula. It's still in there. But we've also added all these other brand new peptides that have just come out, like the refining lipopeptide, which specifically addresses the vertical line. So around the mouth, the crow's feet, the little lines around the lips, the 11s. Vertical lines are a little bit harder uh, to diminish the appearance of. And so that refining lipopeptide specifically addresses those. And so there's all kinds of great botanicals that brighten 
the under eye area. And it's also an eye cream that you can use on your eyelids. So it actually helps with upper eyelid lifting. Yeah, definitely. And someone just mentioned that it's the only cream that doesn't give them milia. And I've had milia in the past. I've had to go to a dermatologist. It really, it sucks. Yeah. This stuff is fantastic because it feels rich, but it's not greasy. And I, like for me, the biggest takeaway is that it's like plumping, juicy under eye. I don't know how else yeah, to yeah. describe yeah, it. Yeah. And it's like pretty immediate. You don't have to wait months. It's just like you do it once and you're like, oh, oh no. Gotta have it. Gotta have it. So <laughs> it is, it's truly, it's one, it's a cult favorite. And now since it's gotten even uh, an update a few years ago, it's even more of a cult favorite and a, a gotta have. Yeah. Definitely. The perfect partner to that guy is actually something you would use before, which is this. This is our Nano Gold Energizing Eye Serum. So this is one of my gotta have. I will, um, I'll walk away from it and then I'll be like, okay, I'm missing that in my life. So I have to come back to it, but it is an incredible, it's a rollerball. So it's the Nano Gold Energizing Eye Serum. And this is infused with 24 karat gold that really helps energize the under eye area. You can even use this here. You can use this, you know, well, I'm trying to do this on the camera and it's everything is backwards. So <laughs> if I'm not even going to try and do that because I'm like drawing all over my face with this thing. Why can I not? I can't do it. Anyway, um, the rollerball <laughs> helps with puffiness and dark circles. It has a dark circle enlightener. It helps with puffiness as well. That anti-wrinkle hexapeptide that I spoke about earlier, that's the needle-free version of Botox, it's also in here. Mm -hmm. um, there's also tomato, tomato plant stem cells that actually help fight what are called heavy metals, which are free radicals that cause damage to our skin. And so it actually helps with brightness, luminosity under the eyes. It's an incredible little product. So I always do my Nano Gold Energizing Eye Serum, and then I take a little bit of stress repair and go right on top. It's a wonderful product. Yeah, because I think like a lot of us have not slept well since like last March, but you can't tell with that yeah, doing. Exactly. You would never know that we're not getting enough free. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Man. Also, it feels so cooling too when you it apply is. it. It feels so relaxing. It is. And it's a good thing in the morning. I think this kind of a cooling sensation actually helps wake me up as well. Mm -hmm. And it's kind of like, okay, it's time to start the day. It's an incredible little product. I love it. Um, and like I said, you can use it around the mouth. You can use it anywhere you have a fine line that you want to help diminish the appearance of because it also has that anti-wrinkle hexapeptide. Okay. It's can I use product. it morning and night or just the yeah, morning? you can do morning. it morning and night. You okay. can do it all day long. You can literally just sit at your computer. And <laughs> <laughs> exactly. exactly. And we have to do it one of these days. Right, exactly. When you're not on Zoom, you can just sit there and just roll the eye serum. Well, you can turn the camera off Zoom and then you well, can that just is true. That do is your true. thing. Yeah. Um, so the next item that I'm obsessed with, if like you watch my channel, it's probably not that shocking, but it's the hibiscus smoothing mask. Mm -hmm. This is an exfoliator and it's enzymatic. So instead of being this like granule that you scrub on your face, it's a mask that you leave on and then the peptides and the en enzymes literally just eat the dead skin, the excess oil, the gunk, everything that you don't want. And then you wash it off and your skin is instantly so smooth and so perfectly exfoliated. People think that these types of exfoliators are going to be harsh. It's going to burn. It's going to sting. It's so much better for your skin, mm -hmm. your sensitive skin, reactive skin. This is better for you than those like apricot right. scrubs that you just like right. cause these like little tears on your skin. This is so good and so mild. And I just, I don't know. I can't rave enough about this. We always say that it's our, our most gentle yet effective way to exfoliate the skin because to your point, it's a blend of all those AHAs. So it's grapefruit, papaya, uh, hibiscus enzymes that really just, it's almost like a Pac-Man eating exactly. on the arcade game. It's just eating away those dead skin cells. And then you, you wear it for like three to 10 minutes, depending on how long you want to have it on. And you rinse it off and you have this beautiful, radiant, glowing skin that's so much smoother. It, the texture is wonderful. You look brighter. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a wonderful, wonderful product. My, my boss, she actually puts it on every single morning. 
that is the she gets up she turns the coffee pot on she's putting her hibiscus mask on she leaves it on for a few minutes rinses it off she literally does it every single day now i you don't have to and i don't necessarily i wouldn't use it every single day because it's a little much for me um but you know a couple times a week like two or three times a week it's up to you leave it on for three to ten minutes rinse it off and you got that beautiful skin. I think you called it like gold, a gold in a jar or something the other day. Like yeah, it's like liquid gold. Or I, it's gold in a jar. I use it like I think twice a week, two or three. That's like for me, not every day, but that's just my, I have like dehydrated skin, like pretty normal skin. Mm -hmm. So this for me is fantastic, and I always try to bring it down on my neck and chest too because we often forget about this yeah. part here with like the mask acne. Yes, our chest needs to be exfoliated too, but. I just think it's fantastic. It is fantastic. And what's so funny is it's, it's it, it, the psychology of how things are named are, is so interesting to me because in the past, it used to be called fruit and flower acid mask. So when it was named that, people were like, no, it's oh, going to no. just, I, I just can see like burnt skin, <laughs> not going to happen. Yeah. And so we changed it, didn't change the formula, just changed the name to Hibiscus Smoothing Mask. And now it is one of our, it is probably, um, it is probably with, it's our number two probably selling mask in the entire line. So it's funny. And now the way people are with acids, they're like, the more the better, give it to me. So, you know, it's, it's so fun. Exactly. Uh, to see what people will buy and not buy just from the name. It's so true. People think of like acids or enzyme, enzymatic peels and they're just like, oh, it's going to yeah. be so harsh, but it's actually, right. it's so great. Yeah. I love um, that. Good. Okay. Yeah. Oh, good, Christina. I love to hear that. That's wonderful. It is fabulous. It's a, it's a must have. Definitely. And it has a nice smell. It's not like mm -hmm. perfumed or scented. Mm -hmm. It just smells like flowers or botanicals. So, maybe. Just so everybody knows, um, our skincare does not have any synthetic fragrances added. So what you're smelling is probably either like the grapefruit, the hibiscus, uh, the papaya enzymes and things like that. So what you smell in our products are the natural ingredients. There's no fragrance added um, to change or alter the way it smells. It's all natural. Okay. Yeah. Um, do you want me to keep going or do you want to talk about sure. your next question? Well, Okay, so you did describe that the other day when we were talking about like it's gold in a jar and stuff. I'm actually going to talk about gold in a jar. <laughs> <laughs> this is literally gold in a jar. So this is our Nano Gold Energizing Face Cream. And okay, so I've had, I've gone on a, a long journey through the eight years I've been with the brand and finding, um, my perfect moisturizer and you know as you age your skin changes and your your likes and your dislikes change and what is very important to me personally is texture i i gotta i'm a guy in that aspect which i don't wear makeup usually um now jennifer just go firefly actually had me put makeup on one night so i can't say <laughs> But I, I mean, for the most part, 99% of the time I don't okay. because I, it's all about how things feel on my face. Okay. I got to love the texture, like my cleanser, the texture of my cleanser is very personal mm -hmm. to me. Um, and so is my moisturizer. So I have, as I've gotten older, I have started to love a balmy texture, something that's a little bit more dense, a little bit um, more concentrated, I guess you could say. And so this guy, you can literally see it is, it's a balm texture and I'm going to get a little bit out and I'm going to show you that it is kind of a thicker consistency, mm -hmm. but you want to warm it up between your fingers and you just press it into your skin. Now, as I've gotten older, I've become a little bit drier. So you would think naturally because of this texture that it gives a lot of hydration so it would be like a super hydrator it's really not it's actually perfect for someone who has more of a normal combination skin type but what i do is i then take our rose de may face oil and i mix a few drops of the rose de may face oil in there and press that into my skin and it's perfect 
It is a wonderful, energizing face cream. Um, I have a colleague of mine that I was speaking to earlier this afternoon, right before we got on here. And she's always said, her name's Molly. She lives in Boston. This is the perfect product um, that if you're doing, if you're getting married or if you're doing a bride's makeup uh, for the makeup artists out there, this is the perfect like primer for your skin before your wedding, because it literally gives you this all over like radiant, healthy glow that can only come from this guy. I, I truly love it. I use it every morning and every night. It's packed full of peptides as well. There is a bionic peptide to really help diminish fine lines and wrinkles. Um, there's that energizing um, that you get from the gold that's in it. And it's just a wonderful, wonderful cream that really helps impart a healthy radiant glow back into my skin, which mm -hmm. I'm constantly on a Zoom. I'm constantly in front of a screen. And I think, and it does, blue light does cause uh, dullness and kind of um, a sallowness to the skin. But this gold cream has really brought my skin back to life. It has Pontago in it, which is a, an anti-ager as well. It's a plant stem cell um, that really helps with density of the skin and helps, you know, cause that kind of that firmness or that mm -hmm. the bounce like you were talking about earlier, yeah. juiciness. The juiciness. Um, it does that. But Pontago actually helps protect against blue light pollution. So it's a wonderful, wonderful bomb. I love it. I just, it's so luxurious to me. And I, 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 it's going to take a lot to pry this guy out of my hand. <laughs> <laughs> and once you love something, you're like, I'm not going to even try anything else. No. And I mean, I, and it takes the smallest amount for your whole face. Now mm -hmm. I usually, and I'll leave in whatever's left on my hand, do my big bald head, but <laughs> it's a wonderful product. Like it really helps re-energize my skin. It brings it back to life. Um, for the longest people would actually use this almost kind of like a band-aid, you know, you cut yourself, you mm -hmm. put a band-aid on, once you heal, you take the band-aid off. It's kind of that same way. Like you can go on this for a few weeks. If you're looking tired, if your skin's looking dull, um, sometimes due to health issues, our, our skin, our face is the mirror to the soul, but it's also a mirror to how our health is doing as well. We kind of show it in our face. This can kind of, kind of bring you back to life, so to speak. It's a wonderful product. I love it. Scott, how is that different from the stress relief cream more than texture? So the um, stress repair concentrate, um, it, uh, even though we were saying it's not just an eye cream, it is really specifically, it's more designed for the eye area. I wouldn't use this around the eyes. Uh, it's just not ophthalmologist tested to go around the eye area. Um, and the stress repair has, stress repair has those peptides um, that really help with vertical lines, uh, the marionette lines. Um, it also has a blend of, of white flowers that really help brighten the under eye area um, and really are going to plump up fine lines. Whereas this is more of a face cream that's really going to impart radiance uh, and a healthy glow back into your skin. It's also anti-aging as well. That makes sense. And I liked what you touched on about the texture as well. Like it's not super, like, it doesn't sound like it's going to make you feel oily or greasy no. or anything like that. No. And I feel like a lot of skincare products that are geared towards anti-aging seem to only exist for people with super dry skin and they sort of forget the normal, like, mixed oily people. Yeah. And you, I think you were on that, we did a master class a few weeks ago. You, uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, you were. Um, and we actually, I don't have it here with me to show you, but you're very right. Like usually in the grand scheme of things, when it comes to skincare, if you are looking for something that's anti-aging, that's going to help repair the fine lines and wrinkles, it's going to help diminish their appearance and help with elasticity and firmness and recontouring of the skin. To your point, you usually have to go toward a heavy, very moisturizing cream okay that's the great thing about us is that you don't this can be an option or our biolift oil-free fluid which has the same exact ingredients in our biolifting cream plus the oil-free fluid does exactly the same thing except it's lightweight it's a lotion and it's also mattifying so it's that perfect product for someone who wants a lightweight lotion that's going to give them anti-aging benefits if you would select one cream for an older individual who is 68 years old, 
for day and one for night, what would those be? I live in Maine, cold and liking humidity in winter and hot and humid in the summer. Okay, so Christine, for the cold and lacking humidity in winter months, I would go with the BioLifting Cream that I just spoke about. It's a wonderful lifting and firming, lying smoothing moisturizer that's going to give you the hydration that you need, uh, especially in those colder, drier months. Um, it actually has two plant stem cells. There's Daphne uh, plant stem cells and Imperata cylindrica, and both of those together almost weatherproof your skin and help prevent any kind of transepidermal water loss and any dehydration. They actually increase the skin moisture content by 50% in just 24 hours. So it's a great cream. And it was actually, um, I remember when it launched years ago, um, a colleague of mine that's no longer with the brand, he lived in the UK, he had just been to Russia and they were launching this cream. And there, as you all know, it's bitterly cold colder than where you are, Allison, um, and a lot drier. And so it was the perfect moisturizer for them in the winter months. Um, that's what I would recommend for the winter. And if you want something a little bit lighter weight and can in texture for the hot and humidity in the summer, for the heat and humidity in the summer, there's another option. You can do our nano gold firming treatment, which is in a pump. It's a gold moisturizer, but it's a lotion. Uh, and it's hydrating, it's anti-aging, but you're not getting as much moisture as you would from the cream. Or you could go with our Rose de May cream, which is a gel cream consistency. You get the anti-aging benefits from the Trixel 3000 tripeptide uh, that really helps plump up fine lines and wrinkles. So there's a couple of options for the, for the, the heat and humidity. Um, you could do either the nano gold firming treatment or the rose to make cream in the summer. Yeah. And you have to put bio serum under all of them. So <laughs> that, that's, that's a given. The bio serum is really good. It is incredible. Yeah. Um, okay. So my next current obsession, again, shouldn't be that shocking, but it's the... Oh. <laughs> rose water and I know what you're thinking like rose water a face mist okay but it smells fantastic it literally smells like you're walking through a rose garden and yes exactly I use it as um, a toner sometimes like in my skincare routine I use it before applying makeup I use it after makeup I use it to apply my makeup. Yep. Also, I use it as aroma therapy. Mm -hmm. So in the middle of the afternoon, I'm stressed out. I have like deadlines or whatever. I just take this and I force myself to relax. So I just missed. And just take a couple deep breaths. So just like, and it feels fantastic. Yes. And I'm going to butcher this, but a few weeks ago we had a masterclass and Alex was there, I think, and she was describing how these are made. And basically there's not like two recipes, I want to say, that are the exact same because, yes. yeah. And yes. so I just find that so like special and unique that maybe one month, like one year you buy a bottle and it has a very particular scent. And then the next year you buy it and it's slightly different literally because the harvest they took that year or the amount of roses they took depending on the weather and the water and the rain all of that played into it and i'm just like i don't know i love that small little detail it makes it feel so natural as well like not just Special. Like, yeah it's like unique and it feels like bespoke like every yeah. single model is like bespoke it is it's almost like a um it's a, a different year of a wine Exactly. Like it may be the same wine, but just a different year. It's going to have different taste. Yeah. Uh, there's going to be that slight difference. Um, if you know me, you know this is my holy grail product. Rose water, our pure rose water, our eau de rose, eau de rose de May, um, is so special because it truly, uh, there's nothing, there is nothing out there like it. Now, yes, there are rose waters out there and stuff, but to your point, Allison, what makes this special is that the rose de May only blooms two weeks out of the entire year. 
and they bloom in this one area in Gras, France, which is known uh, for their f uh, fields of flowers because that's where perfume was kind of sort of born. Um, and Chanel, we actually share the farm with Chanel. Chanel uses it for their fragrances, but we use it for our rose water, our mm -hmm. pure rose water. And Sylvie and Olivia were in Grasse and they were driving around trying to find jasmine for one of the perfumes that Sylvie was going to create. And she happened upon this field of these beautiful, delicate pink roses. And she was just so taken aback by the way they smelled that delicate, beautiful, mm -hmm just intoxicating smell that she's like, we have to use this. So to your point, every batch that we get every year is different than the year before. And it'll be different the year after, uh, because it's all about weather patterns. It's almost how it's how much rain, how much water did these roses get? What time of the day were they picked? Mm -hmm. They're most they're It's best to be picked early in the morning when they're at their most powerful, their most potent because the bloom only lasts for one day. Oh, wow. So they're picked and then they're allowed to dry for just a few hours and then they're poured over into these big vats. And in these vats, they're just like all these beautiful blooms of roses. And then they pour artesian well water, which is the cleanest, the purest water on the planet, it comes from deep within the planet. And then it goes through a distillation process where 100% of the rose to may bloom dissolves into the water so that's literally what you have here and it's like you were saying like at your computer you'll be sitting there and like you know you spray yourself the smell of roses is said to open up your heart chakra so it helps create that feeling of being loved but then to your point the aromatherapy of this is that it's very centering it's very calming um, it's almost balancing as well believe me I have one all over the house. There's one at my <laughs> desk. There's one in my refrigerator. There's one in my nightstand. There's usually one on the coffee table or somewhere. When I traveled, oh, believe me, I had probably four or five with me. You know, most were packed in the suitcase, but I always had one on the plane with me because, of course, you get dehydrated. You just miss yourself with rose water. Mm -hmm. um, and I can't tell you how many people on planes and also flight attendants were like, what is that? Like, it's very special. <laughs> Uh, but it's a wonderful product. Like it truly is my favorite product. Yeah. And on a, on a note too, like some of these like waters, like rose waters, I find them to be drying, but not this one here. Like this somehow is a water, a rose water that feels hydrating when you spray it on. It doesn't like take away any of the moisture. It just seems to somehow magically add a little veil of hydration at the same yeah. time. It is incredible. Like it's just, I can't, I'm the poster child for it. So, I mean, I, I just can't speak enough about how wonderful it is. And I mean, everybody needs, especially now with everything that we're going through and everything that we've been through and we're probably still going to have to go through. And I know you guys up there in Canada are really getting hit hard. We all are. Mm -hmm. And I think about you guys a lot. And it, just for that second, for those few seconds, you can transport yourself away Yes. To the reality of the world with this rose water. It's just a wonderful product. And to your point, you can use it like a toner or in a um, part of a cleansing ritual. You can use it to set your makeup. You can use it to start your makeup. I actually like to use it. So it starts off my cleansing ritual that I give myself a mist of rose water and then I'll do my cleansers um, and then rinsing them off. And then the last step is I'll do my rose water again, right before my serums so that I feel like my serums can be mm. drawn into my skin just a little bit. Yeah. Hi, Grace. My husband loves the rose water. I send this small bottle to work with him. It helps relieve the dryness from wearing a mask all day for him. That's true. Um, when I was, before my new job, I was working in store a few days a week and I, you have to keep the mask on, of course. I would literally pull it or I'd go into the back and pull it off and I would just hydrate, hydrate, hydrate. And I would even spray inside the mask and put it back on. And it was just, it's refreshing. That's just your point. It gets a little, it's, it's tough under there, you know? Yeah. Um, I know you were talking earlier about like the reverse camera thing. I'm sort of experiencing that right now with my hair. I can't figure out what I'm supposed to be doing. I just with don't it. know how I can't. <laughs> I can't, there we go. I think I got it now. You figured it out? Okay. There we go. But I mean, I was like just trying to draw. 
Because <laughs> I'm looking at myself and it's backwards and I don't yeah, understand. Everything's backwards. It's horrible. <laughs> If Jennifer, if you're still on here, you you we've been through it many times. Oh really? It's like <laughs> wait wait, where's the why I'm out? I'm over here, but it shows that I'm over there. I know. Um, I have another question here. Sure. Wants to know about powders. Okay, love to hear the difference between the HD Perfecting Powder versus Eclat Du Luminous Powder Bomb. Um, a big part of it is right there in the name. Eclat du, uh, which means for you English speakers, soft shine. Am I good? Yeah. Okay, good. Um, it is a luminous powder balm. It's different than the HD Perfecting Powder. The HD Perfecting Powder is a finely milled powder pressed um, that really helps blur out any imperfections. And so it's, I would, I don't want to say that it's drier, but it doesn't have that balmy, texture that a clot do has mm -hmm. now it's funny you ask this question because i actually have one of the hd powders but i have it in the loose version this is one of my all-time favorite products so it comes with a cap you have your powder down here take the cap off you push this guy down and there's powder inside <laughs> it's like magic but this guy is called candlelight now we make hd uh Matt Blur, um, I think it's, yeah, Matt Blur is the one that's just like the pressed powder. It's no shine. But this has just the right amount of like a glow mm. that gives your skin. It gives it kind of a luminous glow. I know I can't really show. I'll put some on, you know, mm. why not? Um, Would you say this one is more for like dry or dehydrated skin? Yeah, I am, let's see, I've got a little extra powder there. <laughs> and I just went over here instead of over there. Oh, yeah. Um, but it, it just gives a blurring effect to the skin. It gives a little bit of a luminosity without it looking like glitter. Mm. It's finely milled. Um, it's a really fine powder. It's like, I don't look like I have powder on, do I? No. No. That's how HD powder is. HD powder is an invisible powder that really just kind of helps set your makeup. Um, it's great to blur out any imperfections uh, without it looking heavy or looking cakey. And then the Eclat Du is, it's really the big difference is the texture. Mm -hmm. Eclat Du is more of a powder ball. So it's also blurring. It also helps diminish any uneven texture um, or uneven, like large pores, uh, for example. They both kind of do that, but it's all, it's really the big difference is the texture of the product. HD yeah. is going to be more like a true powder that's finely milled. It literally feels like silk. Whereas Eclat Du is more of a powdery balm. Yeah. It is a nice, I like the Eclat Du. I like the, I like the balmy texture, mm -hmm. but it feels like a little bit more texture, if that makes yeah. sense. Like it's yeah. not just like a veil. Yeah. Um, someone had a question here that we were going to talk about later, but we can talk about it now. Or How do you know, Anna B? How do you know about that? Uh, yes, we are coming out with later in summer. Um, we're not even at summer yet. We're still in spring, um, believe it or <laughs> not. Um, it will be, I believe, June. Um, we have it coming out and then there's another product that's going to be coming out simultaneously or around the same time. Um, that's something that's definitely needed. And a lot of people have asked for, especially for our friends in Hawaii. Um, so that's great for the coral reefs. It's safe. Uh, hint, hint, that might be able to tell you what it is. It's safe for the whole family. Uh, that's all I'm going to say. Okay. Um, but the orange, uh, blossom flower water, orange flower water will be coming out June. Mm -hmm. And so it's going to be another flower water that we have to the family. It's going to be permanent. Thank the Lord. Cause I love oh, being good. Good. Oh, floral mist, hydrating face mist. Yeah. Um, but it's going to have um, orange blossoms. So orange blossoms are very uh, calming um, as well and kind of relaxing. So we're excited to have a little another one. Yeah. I'm really excited. I mean, I, oh, well, who is here from Chantecai Boté? <laughs> We have Chantecai Beauté in the house. Yes, we do. Who is here? 
I don't know. Is it Lizzie? Is it someone else? Maybe Lizzie or Faye or any of uh, our friends in New York. That's true. Um, okay, one last note on the rose water, and then I'm going to move on. As you're like doing the aromatherapy, you can pretend, like you said, like transport yourself and pretend you're somewhere in the south of France for a brief moment in time before you're shocked back to reality. Before you're that rude awakening that you're brought back. <laughs> it is. Oh, it is Lizzie. Oh, hi, hi, Lizzie. Hi, my Thank friend. You. Okay, let's see if I can figure out where the camera is. <laughs> Which side? <laughs> It is so hard. I like the side part. You know, our yard is listening, guys. You need to make this easier for us. Apparently, the side part makes me old, but I like the side part, so I don't care. Does it make you old? I like a side part. I like a side part too. I I've the always theater. liked a side part. I'm not a big middle down the road part. I like the volume of a side part. Like, yeah, um, yeah. I mean, some people do the middle part, and it's great. But yeah. I feel with curly hair aside part I mean, is better. I'm bald and I <laughs> I mean what I mean, you know exactly what kind of, I have a permanent middle part. <laughs> I don't have a choice to <laughs> hey, like, no. No. See Amanda says side part is the best. Thank you, yeah. Amanda. So I have to move on to my next obsession. And someone called me out for it earlier. How did you know? Um, so I have to talk about my yes. luminescent eye shade, specifically the shade Pangolin, mm -hmm. which is what I'm wearing today. And it gives you the most beautiful rosy lilac color. Yes. And as you can see, this has been well loved. Um, you like I, that color, Allison? Or I do. There's like favorites? craters in here as I dig into it. And you could wear this on its own, like just use your finger if you want to and swipe. Yeah. But what I do is I take my brush, um, hold on now. I'll take a flat brush like this, mm -hmm. and then I will spray a tiny bit. Okay, wait, where's the camera? There we go. Right, exactly. There we go. Like just a little bit of water. You don't have to spray much, just get it wet. And then when you swipe this in here, you get the most intense metallic payoff. And that is what I want. I mean, I'm very extra. If I'm going to wear this color, I'm going to wear this color. And so if you're having issues with it, because I know some people have bought some of the shades and I don't know, they seem to not know how to work them. For me, I always say, use the rose water and swipe it everywhere. And you will just see it's so beautiful. Like looking at you, you would think you have on more than just one color. Exactly. It looks like I took like 45 minutes to do this and I put on like four colors. I used one and it took me five minutes. Right. The pigments, they, um, it's a, it is, it's another gel powder, um, consistency and they're multidimensional. So the pigments like, like when you move, they kind of, it changes. Like it goes from like that sunset pink to like a plum, to like a lilac. It's just gorgeous. Yeah. Um, and what's so also wonderful about them is that they help protect the pangolins, which if none of you know what a pangolin is, that's a pangolin. It's this little uh, creature that is so precious. Um, they're covered in scales. Um, it looks like a little dinosaur to me. Uh, they're very gentle. They literally eat insects. And but it's the most trafficked animal in the world. They're hunted for their scales because some people think that they have medicinal uh, or magical powers, which they don't. They're made out of keratin, which is the same thing our fingernails are made out of. Uh, but they're trafficked for those scales uh, on the black market. And so the Tiki Highwood Foundation, which we support specifically through the shadow, uh, really helps protect them and rehabilitate them and helps um, get them back into the wild and helps these little guys. Because like I said, when they're scared, they roll up into a ball. Uh, so they're easily caught. And there's, um, I believe, let's see, there's six, eight shades total. So there's seven other ones that are, that range everything from that beautiful dusty lilac, kind of a sunset color, all the way to a beautiful uh, olive taupe, um, a gray taupe. There's a beautiful copper. There is a burnished bronze uh, for the giraffe. And then we have the two newest ones. We have crane and zebra, which is like a really pretty rose gold and like yeah. a deep berry. So a wide range of shades. And 
you just may see some more being added to the line a little bit later <gasps> on in the year. So oh my goodness. I, if Sean Sakai ever does a luminescent shade in blue, I will lose my mind. I love a blue eyeshadow. Okay. Uh, but I have to say that um, you said there's like eight luminescent shades. Yeah, there were there? six in the original. Yeah. And two new ones. I think I have all of them except maybe one or two. And I, I think they're all fantastic. They're all beautiful. They all give you this like look that makes people think you took 45 minutes to do your makeup and it took you five minutes. It's just a question of what you like for colors. Lion is also really pretty. It's like this gold coppery. Yes. That would be perfect for summer, like in the warm summer oh, month, yeah. that bronzed glow. Lion would also be really perfect. And I mean, to your point, like it's so quick and easy. Like you do the one and done. And I've always described the luminescent shadows as they're like little pieces. They're little pieces of jewelry for your eyes. <laughs> yeah. um, it's like if your your eyes are putting on a big, you know, sparkly necklace or some really pretty earrings. They truly are like pieces of jewelry for your eyes because they have that multi-dimensional uh, look to them. That it looks like it will be one color, but it's not. And they're like you said, it's easy. It's a one and done. Swipe it across, and like you can take your finger and swipe mascara and done. Exactly. Well, Bonnie, <laughs> just save your pennies. Okay. And you never know what might be around the corner in a few months. Okay. I mean, oh, and Grace just said she also loves Lion and would love to see a turquoise shade. So there is your blue crew. You know what? There actually is, I believe we still have online, um, there was the original Luminescent Shadows that came out as part of the Positano collection oh. a couple of summers ago. There is a color called Marae or Mar. Yeah. It's ocean in yeah. Italian, I think. It's M-A-R-E. And I think it's still on our website. I think we still have a few left. Okay. Well, um, it is a beautiful kind of a, a very soft kind of turquoise-y, um, beautiful shade. So, Grace, see if that guy's on there. It's Luminescent Shadow in M-A-R-E. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm going to have to go look for that afterwards as well. See, we have more votes for blues and greens. So. I know. <laughs> well, we'll, we'll see. Have to wait and see what comes out. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. I'm going to find this grace for you. I love a turquoise and a teal. I know. Um, let's see. Eyes. Eye shades. I think I saw it on the Canadian site, too. Yep, it's there. It's there? Well, I'll see. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Oh, that's beautiful. It's like a, is it like a sea foamy green? It's like a sea foamy green. It's not like a turquoise, like necklace turquoise. It's kind of a sea foamy green, but it is this beautiful. Mm, lumin beautiful. These are like the original luminescent shadows. Okay. Uh, it's the first time. Thing. So we had this one and then we had so Soleil, I think. It was, a, it was kind of a peachy, coppery, orangey color. It was really, okay. really pretty. But it's on there. Then those were, that was the first time we tried the formula. I'm glad you guys did. Yeah, me too. <laughs> um, I think I'll be adding uh, Mare, Mare. Mare, Mare, Mare. 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 <laughs> yeah. Um, okay. Do you want to go next? Do you want me to go next? I'll go next. So I'm going to talk about Lip Veil. Lip Veil is a wonderfully pigmented lipstick. This formula is incredible. I'm going to show you the shade. This is called Impatience, which let's see if I can do this. There we oh, go. It's pretty. So it's a really pretty kind of a soft, kind of a watermelon, kind of a peachy coral. It's a great color for summer and spring. Uh, but the great thing about Lip Veil is that it's infused with a fair wild certified Baobab oil which is very nourishing to the lips. Um, it, as you can see, it gives a high dose of color and it has a kind of a, a little bit of a luminous, it's not a gloss, but it's more of a mm -hmm. luminous look. Um, it's a great color payoff. And so they stay in place really well. They give you the nourishment and the hydration from the Baobab oil that's Fairwild certified. 
And the wonderful thing about these guys is you can see there's an elephant on the outside. This is a philanthropic um, permanent piece of our, our brand, just like the luminescent shadows. But Litvale gives to Space for Giants. And Space for Giants is an organization um, that's uh, headed by Max Graham. And what Space for Giants does is they protect the migratory path of the African elephants. Um, because of human population growth and economic growth in Africa, um, humans are encroaching upon these majestic creatures' natural habitats and their migratory path. So what Space for Giants does is literally creates space for giants. And what they do is they build smart fences along the same migratory path that they've taken generation after generation for thousands of years to keep humans away from the elephants and the elephants away from the humans, so to speak, to keep us away from each other. So it keeps the elephants from breaking into gardens and eating the crops and causing human and animal conflict. Um, it's also creating jobs for the locals to help build the fences. Uh, they also not only do that, but they also help build schools and medical clinics in these more remote areas. It's a little bit harder to get to um, major, like for in Kenya, you can't get to Nairobi, but there is a medical clinic and there's also a school that Space for Giants helps create and build as well. And they also help make sure that people who are caught poaching are being prosecuted to the full extent of the law. So they actually have a legal team that goes and makes sure that people who are caught killing elephants are prosecuted. Uh, this color is called Impatience. Um, it's a beautiful color. And then I have another one here called Oleander, which is this really pretty, it looks like it's kind of kind of be red. Yeah. But it's more of a beautiful fuchsia. Isn't wow. that gorgeous? I know, it's so pretty. Like I was looking in my trove of lipsticks and I was like, which one am I gonna talk about? And I kind of always talk about Honeycock because I always love a nude lip. Yeah. And then Portulica is this beautiful red, but I thought, let me talk about Oleander. Like I forget how beautiful that lipstick That's is. So Oleander's pretty. Oh. Uh, hot pink. It's Oh God, it's so gorgeous. It's so pink, I love it's it. So pink, but it's so pretty, you know. Oh, um, really great lip. Oh, I would love That's that as well. Oleander. 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 I would love named it. after African plants or flowers. Okay, and yeah. I like that lip texture too because I also find that it stains the lips. Yes, it stays in place really well, yeah. and if it does come off, it kind of leaves a little bit of a stain. Yeah, yeah it's really yeah. great. I would love that um, as a nail polish. It's I mean, I ever decided bam. to nail polish. <laughs> How beautiful! I know. Like you, you know what? I think when we were talking, like our first meeting about doing this, yeah, you got to actually say hello to someone, and we were like, "That's what I need to ask right there." Yeah, we were having a Zoom meeting, and. I don't know if it was Faye or Sabrina. Was Faye, yeah, Faye was Faye. Desk. And she was like, oh, hey. And then she was like, oh, it's so and so. And I was like, who? And it was Sylvie Chantecai yeah. just like stopped in on a Zoom meeting. And I was like, she's like hi. <laughs> she's real? She's a I, real person, yeah. I thought she would be like off on the Mediterranean somewhere, just like relaxed. I mean, yeah. Um, but she does come to work every once in a while. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Yeah, no. she's They're very much involved in very, I mean, truly the heart of the brand. I know. A lot of people say this is the heart of the brand, but she truly is the heart of the brand. Well, truly. it is their, their namesake, so I wouldn't imagine that they would just like float off away. But it was just like, on my mind, I was like, okay, so in my mind, Sylvie and I are like for, on a first name basis now. So. Right. <laughs> Allison, Sylvie, Sylvie, Allison. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You know, that's how that works. Yeah. Um. So people are saying that Shalsakai needs more nail polishes. I agree. I would love to see that one day, maybe. Maybe one day. You never know. You never know. You never know. Um, can yeah, exactly. And my last obsession that I want to talk about here is the new foundation, the Future Skin Cushion. And I have the shade Nude. And I have to talk about the shade range because at first I ordered this and I thought, this is going to be way too dark for me. 
But the cushion just went flying. Yeah, when you look at it, you're like, oh no, this is like, not gonna work. Look at this. Yeah. Look at this. Look at yeah. this. But somehow this is like a stretchy. It does. Formula. It stretches. So we only make eight shades, but it actually will help. It will cover 30 shades or 30 skin tones, I should say, 30 different skin tones, a wide range of colors. There's only eight shades right now. And we are, of course, looking to add more um, as the days come. But those that formula was designed to actually, that pigment actually stretches. I'm vanilla. I don't have, I don't have it right here with me, um, but I would be the shade lighter than you. Uh, I, it's a little bit more of a balanced undertone. I have, as you can see, I have a little bit of pink. I have a little bit of yellow and it's the perfect color. And it almost like it melts into the skin. Great coverage without it feeling heavy. Yeah. So I am a huge fan of the original Future Skin Gel. And I saw the cushion. I was like, well, I'm going to try the cushion, of course. But I didn't think that this would almost like replace the original because this somehow gives you more coverage, but it's very natural. Like you can still see maybe like a little, yeah. I'm sorry, everything is backwards. A <laughs> little imperfection. You can still see skin and like, you know, it looks like real human skin, but just like one, like, I don't know what you can press into the compact here and you see coverage like a blur i want to say mm -hmm. like it's just so beautiful and it also withstands the mask wearing and you know going out and exercising it will hold up at the same time and i like that it's a little bit less messy than the original future skin you don't have to like scoop in to get product out it's just wow. like a little bit more compact and you also get a backup so when you buy your cushion you automatically get a second refill right away so it's like you're getting two foundations for the price of one right it is truly a game changer when it comes to foundations like i i'm right there with you like future skin and just skin have always been like i mean these you can't get any better but when they came out with this i was like uh oh <laughs> i have a brand new favorite foundation and you can make it as sheer, like you were saying, like just press in and like press into the skin and you get a beautiful, like soft veil of color, but then you can really like build up the coverage. Hey, Angela, you can build it up. You can use even a beauty blender that you take the beauty blender and spray mm -hmm. it with rose water. So get the beauty blender um, moist or yeah. damp, I should say, mm -hmm. and go into the, uh, the compact and you can literally build up the best coverage from it. It is gorgeous. It has skincare in it as well. There's a bionic peptide to help fight fine lines. Um, and then there is also a blend. Uh, it's a network of sugars that act as a pollution protecting primer. A little bit of alliteration there. So it actually <laughs> protects you against pollution from the environment, but then it also helps prolong the wear of the makeup. And it creates that just beautiful, flawless look to the skin. You know, yeah. most cushions, mm -hmm. um, that I've ever come across are more about the sunscreen part of it. This yeah. one doesn't have sunscreen in it. Um, other ones tend to be more, they're very sheer. Like it's mm -hmm. really more about sunscreen than anything. Yeah. This is not the case. This is a true foundation um, and it just looks beautiful. It's just, I mean, I know I have like other makeup on right now, but it just, I don't know, like it's just sort of like magic in a compact. It, it just, is. the first press, you just get so much coverage and it's not cakey. It doesn't look like fake or anything. It just looks so beautiful. Right. And I think actually the longer you wear it, the better your skin looks. Yeah. <laughs> Honestly, like usually it's like the first time you put it on, you look fabulous and then it wears off throughout the day. I think this one actually, the longer you wear it, the better you look. <laughs> I mean, the nothing bad with that no it's not um and to your point it actually wears well with the mask it doesn't transfer yeah um so it's really it stays in place really really well um if you'll notice on the outside of the compact and then we'll get to this question <laughs> is there's an elephant and so it's okay it's uh, a little baby elephant and so each one of these that is purchased we will donate um a bottle of milk a formula for the baby elephants at the shelter wildlife trust in kenya um, they go through six bottles a day, and they're these huge. It's not like a, 
a baby's bottle. It's no. a huge, I think it, they're 500 ml and they need six of them minimum a day. Um, and so for each one of the cushion foundations bought, we donate a bottle to the Sheldricks. Yeah. Wow, that's fantastic. Yeah. Um, yeah, Marianne was asking if I can also wear vanilla. So I'm not sure. I think this uh, nude is for like, for like late to medium skin mm -hmm. Is that correct? So it goes aura is the lightest, mm -hmm. and then it's alabaster, and then vanilla, which is me, and then it goes to nude, which has a little bit more of a golden, warmer mm -hmm. undertone. It's um, it's kind of that. It's middle of the road of the. It's the exact middle, actually. So it's number four on a scale of eight. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I think nude, I definitely see that warmth when I apply it. I definitely see yeah. that sort of like warm undertone. So, yeah, if you want that or not, it's up to you. And Marianne, you can go on our website on chantakai.com. There's the foundation finder, which is under, um, I believe it's under face or color or makeup. You go to foundations, there's a foundation finder and a complexion chart. Mm -hmm. And then we also have people that work our live chat. I used to be one of them uh, that can help you in navigating and figure out the best color for you. Yeah, that's yeah. great. Yeah. Um, so did we make it through our top five current obsessions? We did. Okay. What you want to talk about now? Oh, so we have here a secret item that we've been testing out um, behind the scenes. It's been about a month now, and I keep getting the name wrong. <laughs> I do too, and I work for the company. It's okay. <laughs> I have here a lab sample yeah. of a product. Okay, let's see if I can figure out so how this they can. just went live today. Uh, on our website, and it's so new and so live that you have to actually go up into the search bar and type in the solution, T-H-E-S-L-S-O-L-U-T-I-O-N, the solution. You type it up there in the little search bar, it'll take you straight to this. It's so new, I even have a lab, I still have a lab sample. I don't have the real deal yet, uh, but we have the juice, uh, which I guess in the grand scheme of things is the most important thing. So this is our purifying and exfoliating phytoactive solution. It is a mouthful, but we're calling it the solution because it truly is the solution to some issues that you could be having with your skin. Um, I want to ask you before I get into the specifics, what is the difference you've noticed in your skin since using this for the past month? Um, I've definitely just noticed it helped with breakouts, especially along like the jaw and like the mask knee is real. And yeah, that's what I've noticed like the most. Okay. For me, I've noticed a difference in the appearance of large pores. Oh. So in my nose area, so my nose and then through here, and then right here in the center of my forehead between my brows, I have really large pores. This guy has really made a huge difference in diminishing the appearance of them. It's also helped combat the blackheads that I can get right here on my nose. Um, and it's also created a smoother surface. So there's a lot of ingredients in this guy that really help change the texture, the brightness of your skin, and also helps with texture. So there's a blend of AHAs, alpha hydroxy acids, that help really gently exfoliate the skin and help create a smoother surface. There is a willow bark extract, which is a natural and more gentle version of salicylic acid that really helps with the size of pores and really helps with texture of the skin. And then there's a gluconolactone delta, or wait, gluconodelta-lactone. Um, uh, if I got that right, I'm going to go play the lottery tonight. <laughs> Anyway, it actually helps with moisture content in your skin. So this actually does kind of help mattify just a little bit and help with uh, sebum production and really controlling the shine. But this also helps maintain that level of moisture in your skin as well. You know, for a lot of time, I mean, a lot of you will recognize this. When we were younger, you know, some people use, what was that stuff called? Seabreeze, I think, or something like that. Or like you're using an astringent. Oh, yeah. It really pulls out 
all the natural oils. Like you are dry after you swipe that across. Well, think about it. If, you're, if your skin is overproducing oil, which it does when you're younger, that's <laughs> um, why you look young when you are young because it's your, your body's own natural way of keeping itself hydrated. But what I'm going at is when you strip it, it makes those sebaceous glands go, we've got to make more oil. So you're actually kind of, a, you're fighting a, a, a battle you're not going to win. Exactly. Um, but this actually helps maintain that level of moisture in your skin so that you're not dehydrated. Your skin doesn't make more more, more oil, um, but it helps. It's literally just like water. Mm -hmm. um, and it really helps create a smoother surface to the skin. It helps diminish the appearance of large pores. Um, it really helps kind of brighten and helps even out hyperpigmentation and dullness mm -hmm. to the skin. Uh, but it's a wonderful, it smells very gentle. It's like this yeah. really soft, almost like a very, very, very soft floral water as well and stuff. But uh, it's a wonderful product and it literally just launched today. So you are the first people to hear about it. Yay! You heard it live <laughs> here. That's <laughs> true. So and excited. yeah, for me, I, I'm 33. I have like dehydrated skin. Mm -hmm. And so for me, I wear this at night. Like I don't like to do it morning and night. Yeah. I think it depends on your type. Like if you have your skin, you would love this morning and night. But even just like at night, it's not astringent. It's not drying. Like you said, it doesn't like just like suck all the moisture out. It just right. feels nice. And it, you do feel like you have that hydration at the same time. It doesn't feel like right. you're just trying to like suck all the oil out. You'll definitely notice that. I noticed that at like the two week mark, that's when that glucona delta lactone really <laughs> kicks in and really helps with the moisture content in your skin. That's when I really notice it. I'm like, okay, my skin is not dehydrated. It's not dry from using this. Mm -hmm. um, I'm not like running for the moisturizer or the, my gold cream and rose oil to slap it on like my skin feels so i mean literally like it feels like a baby's skin it's so yeah. soft and smooth from using this and then also i'll rotate out the hibiscus smoothing mask which you love yeah. as well to gently exfoliate my skin but i use this like every other day at mm -hmm. night um mm -hmm. and i my skin has loved it like mm -hmm. and especially well i've got cotton rounds stuck in my finger this area right here um, I've definitely seen a huge difference in the in the lack of um, the noticeable large pores. Okay, I'm sorry. I just got distracted. Someone sent me something called a super sticker. So thank you so much, Deb. That is so kind. I don't know what that is, but okay. Is that a thank good thing? You. I think it's like a tip or something. Thank you so much. Oh my gosh. That is so kind of you. Thank you. That's great. Oh my gosh. Thank you. It's so kind. Um, okay, I'm like a little like kerfuffled now. That's okay. You can buy some more Shantai with it. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. I'm going to have to buy that uh, seafoam green eyeshadow. Yes, yes you can. <laughs> exactly. Um, and yeah, another thing I noticed is like, as you said, like after like the two week mark, my skin just kind of had like a nice little glow to it. And you can also use this like because it has AHAs in it. But you, like you said, you can use it with your regular exfoliator at the same time. It, you don't have to worry about it. And when we did the masterclass, you guys said you could use like your retinols too. If you're using it, like you don't have to do one or the other. Right. You can add this into your routine. Right. It's general yet effective. Uh, and that's the big thing with us as far as all of our products, especially with our skincare and our skincare items, is that they're not going to be very like they're not so aggressive that it's going to cause irritation and inflammation in the skin. You know, it's effective, it's gentle, um, which is what you want from your skincare. Exactly. Um, but it's a wonderful, wonderful product. I've really, I, I, when I heard that we were coming out with this, I was just like, I was ecstatic. I love um, a solution like this. That's really going to help, especially like I've always dealt with this mm -hmm. area of my face with having large pores. So when I heard we were doing this, I'm like, I'm just so thankful that Sylvie created it and we've come out yeah. with it. I just think, yeah, like that type of product is great to just add to your routine because mm -hmm. I've been dealing with like more acne in my mid-30s than I ever had in my entire life. 
And I feel like I need to send a complaint to someone. Like I did not sign up for acne right, in my right. face. It's like, wait a minute, I thought I've already dealt with that. It's coming it, back again. Hello. I, I didn't even have acne in my teens. And oh. now that I'm in my thirties, I'm having it. I'm like, what? I didn't even know this could yes, happen. Well, have, and it actually, there is an ingredient. I can't think of the name of it off the top of my head, uh, but it actually specifically addresses that P acne proliferation in the skin. Mm. It's hard to say. Uh, but it actually targets that specifically so that you're not breaking out. Yeah. And so I just, I, I think it's great to add that sort of like toner, the solution. The solution, yes. The solution. <laughs> I can't like purify the solution. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. And okay, Romero just sent a bunch oh, of. Oh, Romero. Hi, my friend. <laughs> oh, sure. someone said. Um, Wait until you hit your 50s, acne and Oh, no. Don't say that. i um, knocking on that door in a few years. So, Someone told me that they were dealing with menopausal acne. Yeah. That's and I was like, yeah. I just, I don't know. I'm like, we sent, we need to send like a letter to the manager. Like, how dare you? How Exactly. We did. This was not in the agreement. This was not <laughs> in the contract that we signed up for. Okay. Yeah. No. We need to speak to the manager. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Well, I think you actually have, we have something in store for your followers and stuff, just for your Canadian peeps. Yes. So Canadian followers and viewers, you know how every time there's like a sale or an event, we're always left out. Well, now I have a code for you guys to use for the weekend to get 15% off of your purchase. So whether you're buying the Seafoam Green Eye Single, if you want to get the new The Solution, if you want to get the Cushion Compact, you want to get the gold Nano cream. Gold, gold Cream, if you rose want water. the Rose Water, the Gold Eye Serum, yes. if you finally want to try Pangolin, yes. you can get 15% off. And the code is pretty simple. I have it here. It's Allison. 15 that should work it's yeah. my name 15 percent off so yeah enjoy treat yourself yes now's the time go for it exactly. um, because like allison's point like we would always have our our sales and things and it was always like all of my friends in canada were like hello what about us well this is specifically for you mm -hmm. uh, so use the code allison15 at checkout uh, and you will receive 15% off your purchase at shantakai.com. Yeah, and that's so exciting. It's for like yeah. makeup, skincare, perfume, everything. Yeah. So now's a good time to, yeah, if you want to try something, if you want to get backups, yeah. if you're running low, because um, I often do this, do this with sales, like if I know that I'm running low on something, because as long as you don't open it, it's going to be right. good. You yes. know, if you're running low on something, just buy a backup now on sale and then just keep it under like in a cool, dry cabinet mm -hmm. and open it when you need it. Right. So and if you do open it, it, usually most things you'll see on the bottom, they'll have like, it's like a little open jar and it'll have the month, uh, how long it'll last once it's open. But that's yeah. when we say open, like that's literally peeling off the foil yeah. um, and letting air um, hit it. Um, so usually things like that are like a year, mm -hmm. um, but usually things, uh, they last a lot longer if you don't open them. So Yeah, for sure. Yeah. And I've definitely done that. I've had like my um, bathroom sink cabinet, like just mm -hmm. like had like little. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm like, I, I, well, I actually had a client of mine that she would buy things she would stock up and she would, she would get home. And even she had me do it one time. She was like, can you have everything wrapped up? I'm really, literally just going to come in, grab it and go. She goes, will you put the date on the boxes? And I go, sure will. Cause what she would do, she'd stock up and on the bottom would be like, you know, April, 2021. And so she would know when she bought it. So that's, she'd be like, yeah. that's clever. That's going to take like a little filing system. Oh, like, yeah. This is the one I need to use now. Yeah. This is like a new level of hoarding and it, it, it truly, it truly is. <laughs> um, yeah, it truly, truly is. <laughs> like a new us. level is unlocked now. Thank yeah. you. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Do we have anything else? I don't know. I think so. Okay. Good.
I think so. This was fantastic. I know I enjoyed it so much. Like literally you were the highlight of my entire week. I've been looking well, forward to this you. all week. Every day I'm like one more day to Allison, one more day to Allison and stuff. So I've, I've really enjoyed this and we've always kept in communication via Instagram and direct messaging and things like this. So it's nice to finally actually speak to each other and yeah. I look forward to maybe doing some more of these in the future. So. Oh, definitely. This was fantastic. Thank you so much for so um, like, I don't want to say like coming over to my house, but kind yeah, of definitely. thank you yeah, right. for coming Canada over. That was actually my, Toronto was my last trip. Oh, I took. Just come to Montreal like, one day. <gasps> or maybe I can go to Texas one day. That'd be nice too. Come on. Yeah, come on down. It's going to be hot and humid. I'm going to have your weather any well, day. I'll take the snow any day. Okay. But I haven't lived in it. So that's why I'm being ignorant and saying, I'll, I'll take it. Yeah, we'll switch. We'll switch one winter. Yeah, sure. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you to the whole Shantikai team. Um, this has been years in the making, <laughs> years with me messaging oh, you cool. and everyone just being like, Shantikai Canada? Shantikai Canada? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's there now. You got it. And thank you all so much for joining us on our live stream. I hope you guys um, enjoyed it, learned some things, shared in on the Shantikai fangirl. A lot of us are fangirls here, so I'm sure you guys got something out of it. Well, thank you, Allison. And thank you, everyone. Have a wonderful weekend. Stay safe, stay healthy, and yeah. take care. Yeah. All right, guys. Good okay. night. Bye-bye. Bye.